Okay, so supposedly Cat Stacks, y'all know her, the young lady who, one of the biggest groupies in um, the music industry, besides Superhead and all the other ones out there. Supposedly Cat Stacks was locked up November 5th, Friday, November 5th, and um, supposedly has a 90% chance of being deported. Yeah, illegal illegal immigrant type shit. And uh, when I first heard it, I was I thought it was like a joke or whatnot. But now that I know it's true, it's it's a bit of a, a celebration type thing. I'm really holding it in right now. I might make a celebration video. But I have to hear that it's been confirmed that that 90% chance actually fell through. But her, uh, her being deported will be a good thing for hip hop. That way you don't have to worry about getting exposed. You don't have to worry about lying either because she lied a lot. All she do is like lie on people. I mean, I believe she tell the truth on certain situations. But I also think she lie about more she probably would know a person or have chilled with a person but she probably make up more of the things that they've done or she's seen within that person uh, you know company or whatnot but uh, Nashville um, the Nashville jail center thingy whatever they have confirmed that she was locked up on Friday, November 5th, and yeah, she might get deported. And it's a good chance that it's a wrap for the possum looking lady, Cat Stacks. Um, I'm not a fan of hers. Uh, she is entertaining. I don't say I'm a bit of a fan, but I can. I can move on without her though, you know what I mean, but I don't understand, like, what did she get out of, you know, and then they say her manager says, don't believe this and that, and she has a manager? For what? What does the manager do, set her up to fuck with rappers? I mean, really, I mean, she's exposed... I don't know, you know, put rumors out on Lil Twist, Bow Wow, and Fabulous, and Soldier Boy, and uh, Chopper, um, a couple of other guys out there she uh, tried to expose or, you know, rumored. But, I don't know, no, no, no popular people, not like Jay-Z or nobody. I don't think she would even get close to Jay-Z, like to be honest. Number one, I think Beyonce would like, hold on bitch, no. Take your goddamn rat pack looking ass back to wherever the fuck you from. Cause Jay-Z got enough money that will get your ass deported, like, send your ass to a country you wasn't even from, like, in the first place, send your ass back to Cuba and shit. And your ass to Jamaica, bitch. You ain't even Jamaican, like. But yeah, don't, don't. I don't get her, like for real. This place will be 10% better. The hip hop game would be 10% better without bitches like that. You got some bitches who fuck and then just go yak yak and make up shit to their friends, but this bitch do stuff and then she do blogs and YouTubes and um world style hip hop and all that shit and she just posts rumors and shit you know I call it rumors because I don't know if it's real or fake I really don't I really don't know so I'm not even going to judge her on that but it's nothing but drama with her and of course who doesn't like drama I love it I don't live for it but I love it, it it's entertaining but you know I don't put myself in drama but watching it it was very, very appalled. But, um, yeah. She's always talking about how she was abused and 
beaten and this and that. Bitch, look at the situations you put yourself in. Look at what you do. Who wants to get their reputation fucked up by fucking with cat stacks? But I don't blame her. I blame the motherfuckers who know this bitch. Like, they know what she do, and they still go and fuck with her. Let her record shit and everything, and then they on Twitter, like, what the fuck wrong with you, bitch? Why you telling me? Bitch, you knew she was going to do that. Soldier Boy knew about her, and he still was, like, around her, and, like, now she put out there, he's sniffing this and sniffing that, and it's like, come on, man, that shit is, like, really retarded, like, now, then they got some, what is name, what's his name, Plumber, Blummer, Bummer, I don't even know who that fucking guy is until she mentioned him, so, he's not, like, no popular person or whatnot, so, that's a whole nother situation right there. But um it's different, you know, I don't I don't hit females, you know. You shouldn't no male should hit a female. But it's different. I, I would hit a cat stacks, like for real. I would beat the shit out of a cat stacks. That's different. Number one, she's an immigrant. So, you know <laughs> she really don't even belong here, so you can whip an immigrant's ass. And then on top of that, she's not a male or female. She's a cat stacks. She's like her own species so I don't think you should be able to get locked no one's got locked up for beating up cat stacks you wanna know why cause number one she's an immigrant if she called the cops she's probably gonna get shipped and deported number two is because she knows she starts shit it's her fault she knows that that's why no one never got locked up for beating her ass. Nobody. Nobody. Don't send no bitches for cat stacks. If you a nigga beat beat her ass. Do it. Fuck. Do it. You ain't never cat stacks. Shit. Ain't like you beating Beyonce up. Now now what Chris Brown did to Rihanna, okay, that's that's different. But you know. If Jay Z do something to Beyonce, okay, that's different. What I did to Tina, that's different. But whipping up on Cat Stacks ain't that bad, you know. That, that ain't that bad. Really. For real. So, you can beat Cat Stacks. You can whip her ass if you want. But um, I, hope do, I hope she do get deported, though. That would be great. Rappers would be safe again. And, um... We don't have to worry about no more rodents running around spreading rumors. Alright, love y'all. Uh, rate me, subscribe me, add me. Follow me on Twitter. Love y'all. Deuces. And deport that bitch. Ease out.